Even though Jesus was my first love, and if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for his selflessness, his fruitfulness, and his faithfulness, I wouldn't be standing here loving you with everything that I have. I wouldn't be able to love you. First John 4, 18 through 19 says, There's no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Because fear is punishment, he that fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. It's one of my favorite verses because love is how we were created and why we were created. But because we know him, we know love, and we feel love, and we see love. I can't nor will I give anyone or anything credit for our love when we know it's God. Genesis 45, 8 says, so it was not you who sent me here, but God. And I know more than anything that you and I are destined for greatness through him and for him. Love is sacrifice. Love is willing to give your life to save a life. It's being deep and personal and not holding anything back. It's being raw and honest 24 seven. It's seeing all the sides you have and loving them all equally. It's not being fearful of what's to come because what's to come is better than we could ever imagine. So I promise to always put God first because then our love will never fail. And when I look at you, I see how beautiful our God is, and how we could create you, his masterpiece, to love me. You are all of my dreams and all of my prayers of a little girl come true. You acknowledge my strengths and accept my faults. I promise to always see you with the same eyes and the same heart that I see you with in this exact moment. I vow to honor you and respect you, support you and encourage you. I vow to laugh with you and comfort you during times of joy and times of sorrow. I promise to always pursue you, to fight for you, and love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. I vow to guide you when you're lost, which is most of the time, but also <laughs> to follow you when you know the way. I vow to be grateful for you and to appreciate our love. I promise to never let the annoying little things that I love so much become unloved. I promise to always give you my everything, even when sometimes it may be hard. I promise to laugh at your corniness. Corniness! and appreciate the cheesiness. I promise to always love you and cherish you, to take care of you in sickness and in health. I promise to, to honor you and to honor Bree and Addie, and I promise to love them and cherish them for this. First, I want to give God all the glory for us being here today. When I look at you today, my spirit leaps and my heart bursts with happiness. You met me at the lowest point of my life. <laughs> at a place that I didn't that I thought I didn't deserve love again, but you changed that. I don't think either of us knew what we were getting into on our first date, but God did. And it's crazy to stand here and be able to say that we were okay with it not being God's plan for us to be together, but to just be friends. Before people even knew that we were friends, I had people that were close to me tell me that I was glowing with happiness. So I pray that you love me when I'm grumpy and I poot a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I love you when you can't sleep and you sn or you snore loudly or when you get a ticket for running a stop sign because she got one yesterday. <laughs> Seriously though, my grandfather and my dad always taught me that you don't make promises that you can't keep. So I can't promise you a marriage that'll last 50 years. I can't promise you my next breath. But what can I? Pro but what I can promise you is that I will wake up every morning and I will love you with every fiber of my being. Every day I will strive to be the man that you deserve. When I look at you, I see more than just a beautiful brown-eyed blonde. I see a strong woman who loves God and is fearless. I see the woman that I want my future with. I promise to love you in all the hills and valleys of life. I don't want to do life without you, and I'm blessed to be able to do it. It has, come apparent, it has become apparent to me that through all of the trials, heartache, and agony, it was worth it. I now get to spend my life with you. You were my exer, but more than that, you were my home, my safe place, and my refuge. I am eager to see where life takes us, but patient enough to want to go through it one day at a time with yeah. you. I'm excited to start our journey together, and I will always choose you first. I love you, and thank you for loving me. We are all gathered here today to publicly witness this holy union between this man and this woman. Throughout life, you will find that there are good times and there are bad times. There are ups and there are downs. There's mountaintop experiences and also time spent in the valley. Jacob and Danielle, you have both experienced your share of loss and suffering, times of grief and times of sorrow. But through it all, God loved you both enough to allow your past to cross. And you stand here today despite all the setbacks and broken roads and say it was all worth it.
The Bible says in Isaiah 61 that the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of the vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of His splendor. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, Lord, today for Jacob and Daniel. God, for every vow, every commitment, God, for every heal, God, in every valley, God, that this couple has already went through, Father. God, we thank you, Lord, for the oil of joy for mourning. God, we thank you, God, that, that God, you have taken and made beauty from ashes, Father. And God, I thank you, Lord, for... God, the journey ahead of them, God, that, that only you could map out, God. Lord, we thank you for joining these two together as one and planting them, Father. God, today, as one unit, God. Lord, as a display of splendor. God, for all the world to see your goodness and your grace through them, Father. God, Lord, I pray for the rest of their life, God. Lord, that you go before them, Lord. God, that you would be a lamp into their feet and a light into their path, Father. God, I pray that you go before them, God, that you make their crooked path straight, Father. God, I pray that you always use them, God. God, always use them. God, to minister to those who are brokenhearted, Father. Those who are hurting, Father. God, I pray that you always use them, Father. God, to help others, pull them up, God. Lord, when they're weak, Father. And God, Lord, I pray a blessing and a hedge of protection and covering over them, God. Lord, we surround them, God, with the greatest of armies of angels, Father, to surround them, God. Lord, all the days of their life, Father. And God, we pray that you bless them abundantly, God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.